Configuring quality of service, or QoS, and critical business policies in network management systems can be complex and time-consuming, but Cisco DNA Center Application Policy simplifies this process by automating all routine activity and by constantly learning from the network. To start, begin by accessing Application Policies. To do this, click Policy on the Cisco DNA Center homepage. Then choose Application Policies from the Application menu and click Add Policy. Depending on the device for which you are configuring policies, click Wired or Wireless. For a wireless device, select an SSID provisioned on your network from the SSID drop-down list. This video is focused on configuring QoS using application policies for wired devices. You must configure the site scope to define a policy. Click Sites and use the checkboxes to select the sites in which you want to deploy the policy. To exclude a device or interface from the QoS policy, click the gear icon next to the relevant site in the Site Scope list. Then, click the toggle button in the Policy Exclusions column adjacent to the corresponding device name. If your network has a router, it needs to be assigned with a service provider or SP profile to identify the WAN interface. Click Configure in the SP Profile Settings column adjacent to the router and modify the service provider profile information. If needed, you can set the subline rate on the interface. You can also customize the attributes of the SP Profile Service Level Agreement. Click Profiles and select an SP Profile to modify the required values. If none of the available application sets fit your needs, you can create a custom application set. To do this, in the Application Registry, click Application Set and enter a name. You can also create custom applications based on server name, IP address and port, or URL, and configure the required QoS attributes. Cisco DNA Center also provides a default Cisco Validated Design queuing profile. You can create your own queuing profile that allows you to customize the bandwidth allocation of an interface based on the interface speed and traffic class. To do so, choose Queuing Profiles from the Applications menu, click Add Profile, and then define your own QoS settings. To configure or modify the business relevance of application sets, simply drag and drop an application set from one business relevance group to another. The available groups are Business Relevant, Business Irrelevant, and Default. Turn on Host Tracking to track the connectivity of the collaboration endpoints within the site scope. To view the policy configurations that will be applied to the device, click Preview after you create or edit a policy. You can deploy an application policy to a device without any of the complex configurations needed to determine the platform supported or the role of the device in the network. Before deploying an application policy, click PreCheck to determine whether the devices in the site scope are supported. You can deploy or redeploy a policy immediately or at a specific date and time. To view the version history of an application policy, choose History from the Actions drop-down list in the Application Policies page. You can either click Difference to compare a version with the current version, or click Rollback to rollback a policy up to five versions.